guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to the Q&A. For today's Q&A, I'm going to answer your questions about dark discoloration of the elbows and knees. Dark discoloration of the elbows and knees is a common cosmetic skin concern in many individuals, and it is given the name frictional asymptomatic darkening of the extensor surfaces, or fades. This is a condition in which dark discoloration presents on what are known as the extensor surfaces, namely the elbows and the knees. Uh, dark discoloration, often symmetric, so both elbows and or both knees. And as the name implies, it is otherwise asymptomatic, meaning this skin condition is not painful, it's not itchy. And this skin condition arises in areas that frequently are, again, as the name implies, under friction, frictional asymptomatic darkening of the extensor surfaces. And by friction, I mean chronic rubbing. This happens in individuals who may do a lot of housework where they're on their knees or part of their occupation perhaps involves a lot of kneeling or maybe certain cultural practices that they are involved in in a day-to-day -day basis. They are on their knees and this can result in just chronic friction to the skin that leads to darkening of the, of the area under that frictional, frictional force. In the elbows, it's not uncommon to see this in people who kneel, who lean on their elbow a lot. Maybe in relation to an office chair, it's been reported. So you can see it's, it tends to be areas that are kind of under pressure and friction. But what is important for you to understand about this is that that dark color actually is not pigment, okay? It's not pigment. And by pigment, I mean melanin. Uh, melanin is a compound made by melanocytes in our skin that is responsible for our skin color and skin pigment. And there are, medic there are certain skin conditions of abnormal pigmentation, hyperpigmentation, like melasma, like post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. I have videos on these conditions of hyperpigmentation but this particular condition, frictional asymptomatic darkening of the extensor surfaces, is not hyperpigmentation. That is why it's given the name darkening. There is no melanin involved. In fact, when you biopsy the affected skin tissue, you see thickened, uh, what's called hyperkeratotic skin. You don't see melanin in increased in, in melanin deposits or anything suggestive of pigment. So pigment is left out of the name, has nothing to do with pigment. And the reason I'm telling you this is because um, it, you're coming to this video wondering what can be done to improve the appearance of this dark discoloration. And I've got to tell you up front, uh, products, treatments aimed at improving pigmentation, products and, and, and uh, active ingredients that target melanin and the melanocyte and how pigment is made are not going to work for this. They are not going to work for this. Pigment has nothing to do with why this appears. It has to do with frictional forces thickening the skin. There are a few other skin conditions that can present with darkening of the elbows and knees. Acanthosis nigricans, if you'll recall from my acanthosis nigricans video, I mentioned that that rarely can occur on um, body sites like the arms and, and legs. It most often occurs on the back of the neck and under the arms. And in that condition, unlike fades, frictional uh, asymptomatic darkening of the extensor surfaces, acanthosis nigricans is most often associated with an underlying metabolic problem, namely insulin resistance. Fades has nothing to do with insulin resistance. It's really just a skin response to chronic friction. Sometimes putting things on our skin can cause irritation that leads to hyperpigmentation. So in fades, there's no history of coming in contact with any uh, known allergen or irritant 
uh, such as might occur with putting on certain perfumes and fragrances that can lead to darkening of the skin but that is a hyperpigmentation problem fades is not a hyperpigmentation problem so there won't be any history of coming in contact with an allergen or an irritant psoriasis is a skin condition that i've talked about on here before as well that can present with dark discolored patches on the elbows and knees um, however, that tends to be very, very scaly, whereas fades is not scaly. Also, eczema can sometimes appear th uh, thick and discolored on the elbows and knees, but eczema is very itchy, whereas fades is asymptomatic. So now that I've told you a little bit about the distinguishing features of other conditions from fades, given you some understanding of why fades occurs, uh, how to go about improving it. Well, the first step in management is to take a look at, your, at what you're doing that's putting friction on the affected area. If you're chronically kneeling, maybe modifying your body position or obtaining some kind of a cushion to put under your knees to alleviate pressure and friction. Uh, elbow pads, if appropriate, can also help to just take some of that pressure and friction off of the bony prominences of the elbows. Um, that you may be coming in contact with chronically. And then the other thing to think about is sometimes people see the dark discoloration and they think the skin is dirty or soiled and it's not. And their response to, to try and remedy the situation is to scrub the skin with like a loofah. And that is absolutely the worst thing that you could do. This is a response to friction. The last thing you wanna do is rub the skin. Rubbing the skin is only going to make it worse and more persistent and more stubborn to respond to, to the treatment. Fades takes a really long time to fade. After you have addressed the frictional component and you're doing your best to avoid undue frictional stress on the affected area, the treatment that has been shown to be most effective, albeit it takes a very long time to begin to notice any improvement, is the application twice a day of a cream that contains either 12% lactic acid or 40% urea. Lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid that can help to begin to lightly and gently exfoliate some of that thick uh, built up discolored skin. It also hydrates the skin and helps as a moisturizer to improve the integrity of the skin barrier and begin to improve the appearance of that affected skin. Urea is the other ingredient that can be included in the cream. It has specifically been examined and shown to be effective at a concentration of 40%. That's because that is what is in prescription of prescription creams. Twice daily application of either a 40% urea cream or a 12% lactic acid cream are those interventions that have been shown to be most helpful. They can take up to two to three months, sometimes years, to begin to work to show improvement. So you have to be really patient and really consistent while also avoiding undue frictional stress to the affected area. In terms of stuff that is available over the counter with these active ingredients, you will find numerous products over the counter, I'll list many down below, that contain lactic acid in a cream form that could be tried twice daily to the affected area. Um, in terms of urea, I have a whole video on urea. Urea is, uh, you know, as I said in that video, a wonderful humectant and is a dry skin ingredient. It uh, too can improve the appearance of this. And the studies, the case series specifically report the use of 40%. You won't find 40% urea over the counter. You can buy like one product on Amazon that has 40% urea in it. I don't recommend that though, because that particular product also has tea tree leaf oil in it, which if you've seen my videos on tea tree leaf oil, you know that bad boy can be really problematic and lead to irritation and might take you several steps back in your journey to improving the um, skin tone of your knees and elbows. So I don't recommend that. Uh, and I wish that particular product did not put that in there. Um, but there are a variety of over-the-counter urea creams that can be tried and um, will likely help to improve the appearance of this. One product, I'll list many down below, including those that are available outside of the U.S. to those of you who watch me from other countries. But one product, newer product, uh, is Eucerin. It makes this, has this new roughness relief 
series. They have a lotion and the spot treatment. I love the spot treatment and I think it is a fantastic option for somebody aiming to improve the appearance of fades. It has lactic acid in it. I can't tell you the percentage strength. They don't disclose that on the site. It also has urea. And in addition to that, it also has some skin barrier restoring ingredients like ceramides. So it's just a wonderful moisturizer. And it's pretty easy to just pipe right onto the skin and uh, you know just target treat that affected area. Um, it's gentle, it's hydrating, it is a wonderful spot treatment. The body lotion likewise could be used to the area um, as well. So I'll list both of those down below, but the key to know going into this is A, it takes remo removing the frictional force to get better, and B, it takes consistent, consistent use with these products to get better, and C, it takes a lot of patience because it can take a very long time. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys in addressing this skin condition because I do get a lot of questions about it. Um, and you know, these are the treatments that have been shown to be helpful. Do be aware that there are some other conditions out there that look a little bit similar, but are slightly different. Um, but for the most part, as the name implies, these, there, this darkening of the skin is asymptomatic. It's not itchy. It's not uh, painful. There's no scale like in psoriasis, and it has nothing to do with insulin resistance as in acanthosis nigricans. It is simply related to chronic rubbing of the skin in those areas, whether it be from kneeling or um, you know, mopping the floor on your hands and knees, what have you. So try, hopefully this clarifies that to you all. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.